I want to talk about home today. This is one of those themes that cancer season really brings to the forefront of our hearts and minds and bodies and souls. And home can be uh, something physical, it can be your actual physical home, the house that you live in, the house you grew up in, uh, it can be your ancestral land, it can be you know where your people are from, it can be where you were born, where you grew up, the land that nourished you, uh, it can be your bloodline, right? So blood, cancer being a water sign connected to your ancestry, um, those rivers, those currents of life that have nourished you. And it's also this emotional safety. So home as kind of a structure, we think of like the cancer crab shell, that exoskeleton that keeps that tender, sacred, um, you know, vital organs um, alive, beating, the heart beating. And so a home, a house can really uh, hold that exoskeleton so that you can be soft and tender within it. And so this idea of home being a safe place for you to be squishy inside of, <laughs> for you to be, um, you know, tender, to be your most tender self. Who can you be your most tender self with? Who provides that safety just automatically? What provides that safety automatically? What doesn't? What instinctually, immediately makes you want to like retreat into your shell? right? Shut the world out. And so this cancer season, I really highly recommend maybe making a list of the things that nurture you, uh, the type of home. Maybe this is very physical and tangible for you. What type of home makes you feel safe, makes you feel like you can be squishy? For some people, it's, you know, a certain size of home or a certain aesthetic or a certain location or a certain, you know, just energy about it, right? For some people, it's more emotional, right? Um, these kinds of people I feel safe with, these kinds of people I don't, these kinds of people I feel like I can be my whole self with. I can just let down my guard, let it all hang out and know I'm totally loved, I'm totally safe in that space. You know, who are those people? What are those people like? What are their characteristics and qualities? So making that list of the things you know really nourish you and the things that don't. Just reflecting, we're not needing to change anything. And then here's the last part of it. Before you go to sleep at night, ask, how does my home, again, this can be physical or emotional or spiritual or whatever, how does my home want to change? How does my home want to change to support my heart, my soul, in feeling safe, in feeling creative, in feeling like myself, right? Whatever that is. So asking that question right before you slip into dreamland can be really powerful, right? Um, cancer is also kind of brings us into this realm of intuition, of, of the dream world, of the subconscious. So bringing up uh, whatever it is that's needed in order for you to feel safe, right? Because a lot of this embodiment work, the, the stuff that I talk about, um, isn't really possible if you're not feeling that sense of rooted safety, either in your home, in your friendships, in your relationships, in your family life, in your community, etc. So give some attention to home and let me know how it goes. And let me know if you're wanting support on this journey. This is one of my favorite things to do. This is one of my great skills um, is helping people find their way home on many levels, in their bodies, in the world, in their heart. Here for you. Lots of love.